There are three new updates to the Insta360 X3, which you can now download as of late April, 2023. To do it, connect your camera to the app and follow the prompt. The first new update is what they're calling PureShot Revitalized. So for PureShot photos with the X3, the quality has now been improved a bit. They say it's crisper. I don't know if I'd quite say that, but I definitely notice it's performing much better in low light conditions, producing significantly less noise or at least smaller noise pixels, which are definitely easier on the eye than they were before. Unfortunately though, this update is only for the X3 and not any other Insta360 cameras yet. The second new update is webcam mode. For those of you that like using webcams. Does anyone still use webcams? Anyway, if you like the idea of using a 360 camera like this one as a webcam, just navigate into the settings menu, USB mode, and then switch it over to webcam. Then you'll need to connect the camera to your computer via a USB-C cable and select it as your primary camera in a program like Zoom. Why would you... Anyway, the third new update is a really interesting one, and that is app to PC reframing. Yes, that means you can edit your 360 videos on your phone, save the edits directly onto the SD card without having to download your footage. Then once you've inserted your SD card into your computer, you'll see it created an INS data file. Drag that and your unstitched footage into Insta360 Studio and voila there are your edits, which you can continue editing or export at a much higher quality than you would have got on mobile. I think this is definitely an interesting addition and an interesting direction that Insta360 are going, because in the past they've kept their mobile workflow and desktop workflow pretty separate. Whereas now you're sharing keyframes between mobile and desktop. And I think it's very likely that in future firmware updates, they could expand this to include more features from the mobile app that you can then transfer over to your computer to finish. Like the shot lab effects, wink wink Insta360. Anyway, this feature is also good because you can use other reframing techniques like the viewfinder mode, which is where you reframe your 360 videos by moving your smartphone around. And now that can be transferred to your computer to keep editing. Again, to update your X3, connect it to the Insta360 app and follow the prompts. Now there are a lot more modes and settings of the X3. And if you don't get them right from day one, you may be compromising your image quality. So check out this video here for a complete breakdown of how to set your Insta360 X3 for best results.